installation of our bulk propane for camping series. We've got our 20 pound cylinder here and we're going to show you how to set up and test a propane distribution hose or post. It has a fitting that will connect to the tank and three distribution points or threads for disposable camping uh, cylinder uh, type. So what we do, this is the uh, POL thread Insert it into the tank and screw it counterclockwise until it seals. And I should mention that this particular setup here is unique to the Century manufacturing hose or uh, post. Uh, other manufacturers, the entire assembly goes directly onto the valve and rests off the tank. So, to make this connection, we slip this over the safety collar of the tank and just turn the post there. And just like with any other propane connection, we're going to test for safety. We're going to leave the caps on until we want to test each individual outlet. Make sure our connections are snug. And again, we have a container of soapy water. We turn the gas on lightly. And there it is. And since this is a new to me distribution post, I bought it on eBay. I want to check for any leaks along the hose as well is where the hose connects and in all of the connections. Okay. And the best way I can describe it is you're looking for any bubbles like kids make soapy bubbles with the you know the bubble wands. That's what you're looking for. Is, you know, blowing bubbles. Same thing at each connection. Okay, that one's good. Number two is good. And we lastly check the top. And for what it's worth, this top is usually where you put a lantern. Okay, now that we've got them all tested, we're going to turn the gas all the way up and test again. It may seem a little OCD, but it's far more important to be absolutely certain of no gas leaks before any ignition sources are introduced. Alright, we are clean. There's no bubbles, other than the ones moving the hand through the soapy water creates, and so we have no gas leaks. Alright, in our next video, I'm going to show you how to connect your post to your individual appliances, and I'm going to show you how to introduce a splitter into this system so you have one more connection, or if you had a second one of these posts, you can add three more connections. That way, you're not limited to just three appliances. So, for example, if you have a lantern, a heater, a camp stove, well, where are you going to connect, say, if you have a hot water shower system? You're going to want more than one of these. Now, admittedly, Generally speaking, you don't want more than one lantern sitting right on top of the tank, but you get the general idea. All right, that's it for today. I hope this was uh, helpful to you, and I'll catch you in our next video. If you like my videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go back into the old catalog by clicking my channel, and then clicking on the videos link. 
lots of decent stuff back there you may be interested in. And like I always say to you folks, be busy, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.